Greetings, Pastor Bob here from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church. King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, and uh, this dream bothered him, but he couldn't remember what the dream was. Well, Daniel was miraculously given that same dream and the interpretation, and it was given to him by God himself. Daniel told the king the dream that revealed four great kingdoms that would come to the earth. Those kingdoms were Babylon, which was where Daniel was at this time. Nebuchadnezzar was the king. The second kingdom was a dual kingdom of the Medes and the Persians. That kingdom was overcome by a third kingdom led by Alexander the Great, and that kingdom was Greece. And the fourth great kingdom to rule in the world was Rome, which was in power at the time Jesus came to live on this earth. That kingdom, which was Rome, was broken into 10 kingdoms, symbolized by the clay and the iron we find in Daniel chapter 2. The image had 10 toes and 10 kingdoms came out of the imperial Rome. God utilized a perfect symbol for the kingdoms of the world in Daniel's time. But then something interesting happened to this image. It was a great image of a man with all these metals. A huge stone was cut out of a mountain without hands. And when something in the Bible says that it's cut out without hands, it means that God is doing the cutting. This stone hit the large statue and ground it into dust, Daniel says. And then the wind came and blew the metals all away. And then that stone, that stone that was cut out without hands, grew and became a kingdom that covers the whole earth. And that kingdom lasts forever. In a dream about a statue made of four different metals and clay, we find that Daniel is given a glimpse of the entire history of the world, clear down to the end of time. The stone cut out without hands is the kingdom of heaven, which will finally be right here on this earth when Jesus allows the saved of all the ages to inherit the earth made new. What a marvelous dream. Listen to Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Happiness comes from being submissive. When you acknowledge God as the source of life and abilities, you will feel heaven's joy. One day people like this will fill the whole earth. So Daniel allowed God to lead him and guide him, and he found joy. Father, we thank you for the joy that comes when we follow you. In Jesus' name, amen.